Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Hi everyone! <laughs> Are you going to introduce this video? <laughs> Today's video is a rather exciting one because we have someone very special to introduce you to. This is baby Elliot and you may have already seen him a few times if you follow me or me and Rick or just Rick yeah. <laughs> on Instagram. Um, but this is the first video I'm making back since he's been born. So thank you all so much for kind of letting us thank have you. a bit. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. Here. He, he's just here he's somewhere. He's just here. He doesn't, doesn't want to be in the video. Bye bye. <laughs> Not yet. But we thought that we'd have a few weeks off and yeah. take to have time to ourselves with Elliot. Not um, all of us together. Yeah, before we started getting back to the norm. But this week has been so hot, it's don't, actually don't been quite a camera. Let's do Superman, ready? Uh, Superman! <laughs> Superman! <laughs> <laughs> All right, one second. This oh. is basically what it's like with two kids. So if there's anybody out there that has got one, they think, oh, let's let's have, let's have two, or let's or if we got two, let's have three. This is how it is. It's Chaos. This is going to be my labour and delivery story for Elliot, and I'm about to send the boys downstairs because. Elliot is boiling hot, it's far too hot up here. I wanted to hold him through this video, but he's just getting really sweaty, even though he looks very cold. And, and he's getting heavy now. Um, yeah, he's quite heavy. So I'm going to send the boys downstairs so I can actually get through a oh, sentence without being interrupted. <laughs> We're going to go now, so you've got to say bye bye to the camera. No! Right, come on, let's just go. Go. No, I'm going to sit up here. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, peace at last. <laughs> So Elliot was due on the 19th of May and he was actually born on the 29th of May making him 10 days overdue. A lot of people thought that I would have him earlier than his due date which I never thought that but I did think that he would probably be born earlier than Archie was. He was 8 days overdue. Maybe sort of like 4 days overdue or something like that just because he was my second baby. It got to 8 days overdue the same day that I had Archie and that came and went and that's when I got like a little bit upset but I wasn't really getting frustrated with being overdue because I was with Archie but this time I sort of thought he's going to come when he's ready, that's, that's fine. But I'd been given an induction date of Wednesday the 31st and um, it was just getting closer to that and closer to that. And to be honest I really didn't want to be induced. I mean the most important thing is that your baby is born and they're happy and healthy and everything's fine. But if I could help it I did want to have a natural birth because I'd had one with Archie. So on the 28th of May we didn't really know what we were going to do that day but we ended up going for a really long walk in um, like quite a local country park and um, Archie played in the park and we had ice lollies and it was a really nice day it was just hot I was very uncomfortable by this point and I was just fed up of being pregnant and I just wanted my baby to be here um, and that evening Archie went to bed about seven o'clock and I started to get um, even more Braxton Hicks but I've been having them for a long time for months but they were getting more let's just say uncomfortable because if you've not, never had them before you know they're Braxton Hicks because they um, aren't painful and they kind of get your belly gets harder from the top of your bump whereas a contraction sort of hurts lower down but by this evening I was getting very like slight pains um, lower down and I didn't really think anything was happening or was imminently happening um, but obviously I was hopeful so by about sort of nine o'clock I went in the shower um, had a shower and by this point I could tell that I was having contractions it's amazing even in less than three years how you can forget what they feel like but as soon as you start to get them again you're like Ah, oh, right, okay, this is the real thing. So after I got out of the shower, um, I gave my mum a quick ring because, to be honest, I was getting quite scared and nervous, which seemed stupid because I'd already had a baby, but I knew it was happening, and obviously it is a scary thing to go through, even though it's very exciting, like really exciting as well. If you've been watching my pregnancy updates, you will know that we were planning a home birth, so we needed somebody here with Archie or to take Archie back to theirs, but my mum and dad came over and they got here probably about... I don't know, about half past nine. And by this point, I had decided that I wanted to go to the hospital. And that was just how I felt on the day. And I, I'd said that before, I didn't quite know how I would feel, but I liked that I had 
the different options available to me and I just remember saying Tricky I, I think I'd like to go to the hospital um, and because I wasn't in loads of pain I felt like I could probably get there before I was in the state I was before I got there with Archie. I'll link my uh, labour and delivery story with Archie below if you don't really know what I'm talking about with his birth. It was very quick and um, he nearly was born in the car park, but yeah, I'll link that below anyway if you do want to watch that one. So, it's the 28th, uh, it's Sunday the 28th of May and Kate is just, well, she feels like she's had her first few contractions. So we're just about to ring the midwife and see if we should go to the hospital because of Archie's birth was so quick. We obviously don't want to have him at home or on the way there, so we just find out what we should do. Um, I've got a few bits ready, Kate obviously already had her baby bags ready. Um, and so now we're just waiting to see what we're going to do. I'm starting to get very excited because hopefully you'll be here by the morning. I rang the hospital um, a little while earlier actually and they said that I couldn't really go in until they were five minutes apart so if you were getting two contractions in every ten minutes and they were lasting for 40 seconds. So she, she was really nice but she just kind of said can you hold off another half an hour, time them, then call us back and we'll reassess everything. So that was fine. Um, and during this time I was getting regular contractions, but they weren't that painful. So I was just doing my makeup because I knew I would be going in that evening. Um, I was just doing my makeup, kind of chatting, getting ready, and it wasn't too bad. Um, but they were very close together. They were sort of sometimes every two and a half minutes, every three minutes, and I just thought that's just a bit strange. They're very close. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. Maybe a bad time to zoom in there. Don't zoom in. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm just gonna time it. You can do it. Push that baby out. They're not lasting that long at the minute. So I rang her back at about half past 11 in the end. Um, because they hadn't been that painful but as I said they were coming quite quickly so I told her they were every two and a half to three, three, four minutes they were lasting 40, 30, 50 seconds and she said okay come up uh, but you might be sent home or you know told to walk around the hospital for a while or something So we are off to the hospital, I am daddy bag ready Remember she had explained about the whole home birth situation? <laughs> yeah so we're not having home birth now I um, got basically I feel a bit scared, so we're, I think we're just going to go to the hospital. Yeah. But they might send us home again because they're very frequent, but I wouldn't say they're that bad right now. Um, so we might be home again and I might change my mind again. <laughs> So we were definitely in the car at about 12 midnight and I remember getting quite annoyed with my mum and um, Ricky, bless them, they were trying to get everything ready and put all the bags and things in the car but I was like can we just go, can we just go because they were getting a lot stronger. My dad stayed here to look after Archie who was obviously asleep in bed um, and we went up to the hospital. We are just at the hospital, this time I managed to get a close space, Kate doesn't have to walk half a mile to get to the doors um, and I don't know if you can see her. She is getting them, I think she is in quite a lot of pain, but she's doing really well dealing with them. Um, so we're just going to head to the birth centre now. So we all went into the birthing centre together and we were met by a midwife called Amanda. She was so lovely. She was the only midwife on duty in the birthing centre that night. And I was the only woman in labour that night. It was like, it couldn't have felt more like meant to be that I had chosen to go up there. It was crazy. So. We went up there and we were taken taken into a room. I was um, examined and I was five centimetres. And I remember saying to her, so I don't have to go home then? And she was like, no, I don't think you're going anywhere. And she went off to do my like hospital bands and stuff. <laughs> you told me to get as much footage as possible. No, even it's if a bit you, different even when you're not actually in labour as well. Sorry. So Kate's just been checked by the midwife. She's five centimetres dilated. Um, she's just going to go and have a look at the birthing pole to see if she wants to have a water birth and I guess we're just going to go from there. How are you feeling? Alright, moment. <laughs> then we were taken to um, one of the birthing rooms and she said this was the nicest one so did I want to have this one, um, which obviously I did. It was so calming and relaxing when we got in there. There was obviously the birthing pool, is that what you call it? Obviously where you have a water birth and there was like a couch, it wasn't a bed, it was like a couch 
and the lights were all dimmed and there was music on and I've never actually been in one myself personally but it was almost like being at a private hospital it was ridiculous so she brought me in some drinks and stuff and by this point she'd already asked me if I wanted to have a water birth and to be honest I'd always kind of said no which I have no idea why because I love having baths and hot baths um, but I just thought yeah I, I would like that. I filled up the birthing pool and um, that takes quite a long time it felt like about an hour but it couldn't have been it was probably 15 20 minutes for it to fill up and during this time i was standing up a lot and kind of just like rocking from side to side and the contractions definitely got worse in this time um because i went from being able to handle it to sort of like hitting myself in the head for some reason my mum was like why are you hitting yourself in the head but i guess you just do strange things to help you cope with the pain um and then i was holding on to ricky a bit as it got like strong as they got stronger and he bless him he was like just claw my hands just squeeze my hands or just hurt me it's fine um, and I kind of took him up on that and I did kind of dig my claws and a little bit bless him um, so they were getting quite strong and I remember by the time the, the pool was nearly full up I just was thinking please just let me get in there now I'll just you know this is getting quite bad um, so I got in I wasn't examined again at all I don't think but the baby's heart rate was monitored sort of every 15 20 minutes or maybe even half an hour I'm, I'm not sure so I got in and the water was really hot and for the first couple of contractions it really really helped to the point where I was kind of like oh no maybe they're slowing down which I didn't want to happen at all um, but they weren't it kind of just took the edge right off the pain for the first couple and then I remember having a contraction which was awful. It felt like it was about three contractions but without a break in it. It just lasted for so long and it was horrible. Well done. Well done. Good job. Good job. Excellent. And then not too long after I'd got in, um, I was kind of ready to push. And the pushing stage, or the second stage, lasted a grand total of eight minutes. Three pushes, and he was born. He's amazing. Oh my god, that you was so it, sweet. Wow. Oh, you did it. All right. Oh so those three pushes were incredibly painful. Um, because I obviously have fast births, they are, I wouldn't say traumatic, but basically Elliot just sort of came out in one go. It wasn't like his head and then his shoulders and like a slow birth. They kind of come out very quickly, which can be quite, it, I don't know the word, but maybe a little bit less than traumatic, but it, it's a big shock to the system. So Elliot was born at 1.48 in the morning. He weighed six pounds, 13 ounces, which is just five ounces bigger than his brother was. Um, and he was absolutely perfect and we were just so so in love with him from the minute I saw him I just kind of picked him up out of the water and cuddled him and it was just the most surreal special experience ever apart from obviously having Arch but it was a really different experience um, and a really really positive one my midwife was so lovely compared to the one I had with Archie it was just amazing she was like an angel um, and then she let us stay in the birthing room for hours after he was born and she brought us all tea and toast and that was amazing um, and I think we were in there probably till about seven o'clock in the morning so about five hours and she, she only took him off me to weigh him and measure him and stuff and I just held him the whole time and fed him and it was just ama amazing and then at about seven o'clock in the morning my mum actually went and asked if they had like a, a free private room and they did so we were really lucky we were able to go into one of like the side private rooms we were allowed to go home at uh, probably about 11 o'clock that morning I think but we got home by the time we'd got everything sorted and got him in the car and stuff it was we got here about 12 o'clock midday so I remember it was like 12 when we were going there and 12 when we were coming back so a grand total of 12 hours hey you better look at me present he has hasn't he yeah. So we're just gonna have a yeah. He's bought baby brother has bought Archie a very special present, and we've been talking about it for a long time, haven't we? I love big, I love big, 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 big
Tower. 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 What you've been wanting for so long. Keep hugging it. Long. You've waited, waited so long, long. Like you really have. Thank you, Ellie. Look. Give him, a, Give him kiss. a kiss. Give him a kiss and say thank you. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Boy. How did he know that that's what you wanted? He's the best discoverer in the world. Well done, Elliot. You did good. Good job there. That is my birth story for Elliot and I hope that this gives anyone that is a first time mum about to have a baby or thinking of having a baby, you know, makes you feel a bit more positive because uh, all I ever used to hear was horror stories about birth and not all births go to plan and are easy and I definitely don't want to make anyone that had a difficult um, labour and delivery feel bad about theirs in any way at all but I do think it's nice to put out a positive story um, as well as the like more scary side of labour and having a baby and stuff like that and it isn't easy you know we've been having a lot of sleepless nights and stuff and I'll get more into that in another video um, it's not all perfect and like happy and sunny and everything all the time of course but I couldn't have wished for a better birth um, labour yeah I have rambled on for long enough I knew this video would be really long I'll try and cut it down a bit but how can you cut cut edit down like one of the best experiences of your life with your children being born um i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did leave me a comment below and make sure you're subscribed if you're new for more videos press the notification bell if you'd like to be um, notified whenever a new one goes up and i'll be back with another video very soon thanks so much everyone for all your um, well wishes and lovely messages um so far and i'll see you very soon bye